Okay, I want to clear up some confusion about editing imported geometry in uh, an, a strictly order-based system versus synchronous technology. I'm going to open up the step file here and show you in real time an example of what the difference is. So anytime you open an imported geometry in any CAD system, that is geometry that was created in some other uh, system, you generally bring in the solid body but not much else. There's no sketches or any of the intelligence that was put into designing this. All you have is a body. Now before synchronous technology we had some tools to work with that. I'm just going to jump into the ordered mode. Now this ordered mode which is available in Solid Edge uh, reflects what a lot of the um, CAD, major CAD packages function today and that's simply with order-based features stacked on top of one another that rely on sketches behind the scenes to kind of drive everything. So in this environment, in the context of this environment, some tools were developed to work with imported geometry and I'll show you how they work. Um, we can start a command that's called move face and this would let us select a face and then offset it a certain distance. You know, maybe I want to move that a quarter of an inch. Now that's pretty handy, and you can see that it's adding to my history tree that offset. I can even go and select that feature and dynamically edit it, and there's, there's my original offset of a quarter inch. I can make that half an inch if I wanted to. You know, you, you've even got things like rotate face. I could pick up on a face like this, uh, and, and I get this neat little icon, and I can, I can rotate this, and I can kind of eyeball it or key in uh, an angle or something. Now, you can use these and they're handy and in a way it kinda looks like synchronous technology but, he, but here's the main difference let's think of this in practical terms if we were gonna modify this part uh, like for example move this hole we would probably want to move it such that the spread distance between these two holes was changed and it remained symmetric to the part or, or relative to the part the way, the way it was designed so if I try to do that using these tools I'm gonna have a hard time so I can start to move this hole, for example, but what's going to happen is uh, the other, you know, the other hole's not moving. Uh, I've got a, uh, I've got a key and a value for this hole to do it again for the other one. Furthermore, if I want to change the spread distance between these two, I'm going to have to first figure out what that spread distance existing is. Okay, so it's 1.575 inches. Now, if my boss told me that that has to now be 2 inches symmetrically, I'm going to have to do a bit of math and figure out what the offset value needs to be and then do it twice. So I'll have to, again, move this face uh, by 0.2125 inches and then go over to this other side and do that. And the reason that I have to do all this work is because when you move a face, there's no intelligence behind that. An ordered system will always look for sketch rules. That means a, a defining sketch with constraints and relationships and dimensions, and that's what builds the intelligence into it. Um, in an imported geometry, you don't have any of those sketches, so there's really no intelligence using ordered modeling on an imported part. Now let's jump over to synchronous. The part's back the way it was, and let's look at what happens when you do things in synchronous. First of all, there's no commands. I'm just going to click on this hole, and when I click on my arrow to start moving, notice that it immediately recognizes that that other hole is symmetric to this, and it will move that one the same distance. And that's because if you look down here, Solid Edge has all these geometric detections set up, and right now symmetry is highlighted green because that's what it's detected. Now, if I only want to move one of those holes, I can turn that off, and I'm just moving the one hole. But the point is is that with synchronous technology, the intelligence is in the software. It's not relying on sketches, and that's why it works so well with imported geometry. So practically speaking, if my boss came to me and said, we now need that to be two inches spread distance, I'll just drop a dimension between the two, and right from that dimension, I can choose what direction I'm going to modify it and key in my new value. Now, if he said, well, now make that three, but leave the same distance between this hole and this edge, that's just a matter of which faces I pick up. So I'll just grab my hole and my edge, click on that, and type in three. So what this means with synchronous technology is it's a lot faster and more precise to edit 3D geometry. You have that much more control over how you operate. 